Today is week number one of the year, and I'm going to share about how much I have made and how much I have spent on our groceries. So, my name is Lydia, if you're new here, and I am this year trying to um, sell as much, make as much money as I can as a stay-at-home mom to pay for our groceries. Trying to remove that from our budget from what my husband makes and trying to eat better and produce that income so that we can pay for our groceries. So I'm going to give you an update on how the first week went. I really thought it'd be easy because it's week number one and I had some money from things that I sold in December that I shoved in an envelope. I had about $30, which is not too much. Um, but I stuck that in there and I saved it because I knew that I am not producing a lot of income currently. And so I had saved that up. I also this week sold something of my parents for $20 and a lot of times when I do that for them, they will split the money with me. So I was able to get another $10 from that, which is something they had sitting around that they didn't need anymore. Um, so I did get $10 and I also spent $43.50. So if you figure that out, I don't have a lot of money for next week's groceries. I think I have $3 in my envelope for next week. So I need to get busy making some money. Um, but what did I buy this week? I went to Sam's Club and I bought a huge 25 pound bag of flour. And they also had some um, like sprinkles, baking chocolates that were on sale. They were Christmassy. And so I want to try to make some more like zucchini pumpkin bread for breakfast. And my girls like when there's a little bit of something fun in there. So hopefully that will get them to eat a little bit more and be a little more excited about having those for a little bit. And those will last us for a while if we put just a little bit in. Um, I also was at the eye doctor the other day and CVS sent me a $5 off any $5 purchase coupon on my phone that had to be used within like a day's time. And I'm like, I'm already in town. I have $5 I can spend. There are milk is outrageously priced but I was like you know that's like our budget buster that's the one thing I run to the grocery store to buy is milk it is four dollars and 85 cents per gallon at our CVS which our milk other places is about mm, 285 three dollars at the most so that is just crazy to me but I ran in with my two-year-old and we got milk and a package of M&M's because I had $5.60 on my card. So that cost us 20 cents for a gallon of milk and the M&M's. So not too bad. I also went to Kroger and this is the one that got me because I knew I had a little guy on the van that was going to need to eat soon and I was on the move to try to get out soon. And I kind of made some mistakes in there. I ended up spending $17 in there. Um, they have milk right now with a digital coupon for 87 cents a half gallon, so I got five of those. I got some personal care products, and this is where I spent more than I should have. The coupon should have made them free, and then I also got Fetch Rewards back on those, so I need to cash out my Fetch Rewards, and that is something that I will use to pay for groceries probably, hopefully next week if they get back in time. So I will link to Fetch Rewards in the comments, but that will help me this next week to pay for groceries as well. Um, I'm trying to think what else I bought when I was in a Kroger. That was, oh, I also bought yogurt because they had some clearance and I had to, a digital coupon. So that made the yogurt way cheaper than it. Like they were a dollar um, cartons on sale for 49 cents. And then I saved $2 off, I think five. So I basically got like five for free. Um, so that's one thing we always look for in a Kroger is their clearance yogurt. Although I just saw a picture of how much sugar is in store-bought yogurt and it's outrageous. So I can tell why my kids like store-bought yogurt better than the yogurt to make at home because it is loaded with sugar. Um, but that's where I am at the end of week one. And I hope that you follow along and I will be on the mission this next week to make a little bit more because we would like to eat. Um, I always share on Facebook and maybe on my blog my menu plans. So make sure you like me on Facebook if you want to see those. And if you have any recipes that I've made that you want to see, let me know. Or if there's anything else that you want to see as you follow along with me. 
um, let me know and I will do my best to share those. My goal is every Friday to share how I'm doing for the week and give you an update of where we are and if we're making the goal of not touching our grocery budget for the month. So I hope this is helpful to you in some way and I will talk to you soon. Bye.